The Natchez Fire Department is facing a staffing shortage that could impact 911 calls. The department is volunteer only, and now almost a third of them can't respond to medical calls because they're not vaccinated. First responders told CAP KV's Emily Goodell, with no full-time staff and fewer EMS volunteers, they might not be able to respond to calls as quickly. The Natchez Fire Department covers the town of Natchez and U.S. Highway 12 up to the summit of White Pass. It's a big area, just one station and 30 volunteers. While they do respond to fires, most calls are for medical emergencies in rural locations. We're usually first on scene because, uh, you know, we're kind of closer than some of the other folks. But now, due to the restrictions in the state's vaccine mandate, their pool of volunteer first responders is down by 30 percent. A few times here within the last few weeks, we've had some calls where we didn't have anybody available. The chief says with fewer people to choose from and volunteers already having limited availability, it's taking them longer to respond to calls. Heart attack call, stroke call, you know, time is critical, uh, trauma calls. If we can shave any amount of time off of that by getting people to the station that are available, getting out the door is is big deal. He says they've been experiencing more calls this year and are anticipating bad weather, all of which could delay their response even further. With the reduction in DOT folks, so are the roads going to be you know, clear and passable, uh, that will affect our response time. The fire department says they want the community to be understanding about the limitations they're facing in trying to keep them safe. Don't be mad, don't be upset if, you know, we kind of fall short of our goal, but it's not for a lack of trying. In Natchez, Emily Goodell, Cap KV, Local News. Now, the chief says they are always looking for new volunteer firefighters, so if you want to help, you can learn more at natchezfirerescue.com.